So uh, now going on to the next module, which is adding noise to the outputs. Uh, so here, uh, when you're given some training data, this is the label vector that you have been given, right? Where one of these elements is one. So these are like zero to nine, eight, where which digit it is, and in this case it happens to be digit two. So that element is one, right? That's the true training data given to you. So what you could do is actually. And actually what you try to do is minimize this quantity pi log qi where what, what is pi? pi is this vector which was given to and what is qi? The predicted probabilities, okay? So now when you try to add noise to the output, what you actually do is you say that I don't trust the true labels, they may be noisy. Whatever data you have given to me, that is one way of looking at it. That I don't trust it, I will just say that it's noisy. The other way of looking at it is that in some way, I'm ensuring that I don't try to overfit to this label, right? Because now my true, whatever I'm trying to optimize, so let me just go to that and let's see. So instead what we'll do is we'll use soft targets. So this is what I mean by soft target. Assume that there was some epsilon noise in your labels. So instead of treating it as one and all zeros, treat the true label as one minus epsilon and divide that among the remaining nine entities, right? That probability mass divided among the remaining nine entities. So now when you're trying to minimize this, what is PI? this soft distribution, right? And QI is the predicted distribution. So you see why this acts as a regularization? Why does this act as a regularization? What is the aim of regularization? Don't overfit on the training data, right? To overfit on the training data, what should it have done? It should have treated only the correct label. Now, if I'm giving it this information, then I'm not allowing it to overfit on the training data, right? Because now with this distribution, this quantity will not get minimized when QI is equal to the one hot distribution where all the mass is on two. Do you get that? So in some sense we are making sure that now if it tries to overfit on the training data, it will not get the minimized uh, error, right? So you have just corrupted the outputs a bit. Everyone gets this? Is okay? The trainer, no, that's the whole point. No, so that's thing, right? So some of these are heuristic based. So now we have started with this whole derivation where we try to show the relations between train error, test error and all. But things that we have seen, some of these things, right? Even whatever, unfortunately I tried to prove on the previous slide, the weight decay thing. Even that is only for these neat networks where you don't have any hidden layer and so on, right? So most of these are just heuristics. You're just saying that the principle is that you will not allow the true training error as computed from the training data to go to zero. If you do that, you know that you are going to overfit. So try whatever you can to avoid that, okay? That's the idea. Do you agree that doing this is going, going in that direction? Training data. The hope is that if you don't do that, then it will not underfit on the test data, right? There's no, I mean, are you, are you looking for a proof where I say that doing this will ensure that the training error does not go to zero, but the test error comes close to the training error. There is no such proof, right? Just a heuristic. You are just going by the principle that if I don't allow the training error to go to zero, then hopefully I will overfit, I will not overfit as much as I would have otherwise, right? Okay? So that you can think of it as this way, right? So this is the curve that you are seeing. This was the training curve. This was your test curve. You are preventing from entering this region where the error is zero. That means you will end up somewhere here, right? And you know that that's a more preferred point as compared to this. That's the intuition that you're going by. Is that okay? 